Got the windows tinted and the bass tube hitting it. Digging. Creeping past the popo incognito like Joe Dirt. That's how he's living. Life's a garden, man. And he's just digging. So this is mine. Anyway. So the original reason I think my ace three fifty's here. All right, guys. Look what just showed up. Ah, uh, my man Tim. Treasure Chief, Southwest Missouri. He's a good man. I bought actually all of my stuff from him. Sweet. All right. Sorry, Kansas Digger. Though I'll, I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you on the next one, man. Let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what we got. Digging, digging, digging through the snow. Ah, yeah, buddy. Nice. All right, hold on. Let me get this out of the package. Well, all right, guys. Look what I got in the mail today. This is a gift from my lovely wife for early Father's Day because of my, my passion for metal detecting. Wow, man. I got an Ace 350. Look at it. Hold on. Let's open the box. Oh, man. It comes with headphones and everything. Oh, wow, dude. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Oops. Oh, wow, man. It's amazing as I was just reviewing my Ace 150. My 350 arrives. Ah, oh, gave me a little sticker. Nice. Oh, man. Alright, guys. <laughs> it's time to do some building. It's time to do some building. Here we go. Well, guys, I think you know what that smile is. You know Bob would say it best, but check out my new machine. Woo! There it is. Put it all together. It took me less than five minutes. Oh, man. Look at that big double D. Woo! Oh, that's sweet like candy, baby. Mm. Yeah, buddy. Got the batteries installed. It's quite dark outside. You'll see. It's been a little rainy all day. But that's never stopped me before. I'm going to go find something with my new 350. I'll keep you guys included. Well, there you go, everybody. First target was actually a nickel, and it said a nickel. Isn't that a beaut? Awesome, awesome, awesome. The pinpointing's so easy to use, too. Fantastic, and it was pretty accurate. It was right there. Spot on. I can't really get a date, but I don't care, man. Find number one. Nice. All right, find number two. A nail. All right, find number three is exactly what it said. Beaver tail, beaver tail. Still a pretty one. All right, find number four, and I think it's a coin. Yep. Just Lincoln, but that's a coin. Very nice. It's actually a very pretty bottle cap. And another nail. All right, guys, my next find was a coin. It's another penny, but I'm, I'm learning the tones. So, yeah, I'm just going to dig everything, man, so I'll just tape all of it. Beaver tail. But look, it was, it, was, it was almost four inches, just like it said, and it pinpointed it just about here. So I had to move over just a little bit. It was about here. Still awesome. Wow, this machine is so much more accurate. Got another coin here. <laughs> yeah, buddy, did you see that? That's a wheat penny. Holy shit, I think that's only fine number seven with this. 1950, yo. I think that's only my third wheat penny of the year. You guys see how much I dig? Oh, man. <laughs> 350, totally worth it. Mwah. And a bottle cap. Bottle cap. Bottle cap. Alright guys, looks like we got a coin. Yeah, just a penny. 
Ooh, a crusty one. Barnacle. Birdie. Well, guys, there's a giant chunk of iron that I think was is blocking other targets down in here. So I'm going to recheck and see if this was making me mess it up. All right, another coin in the hole here. Uh-oh. There it is. Okay, it's another linky. Stinky linky, too. All right. That last one just, I don't know if it was iron. It wasn't ringing up as iron, but, um, yeah, there was nothing else in the hole. So, this is the next one. Oh, the elusive beaver tails. They sure do ring up pretty. Even on the 350, they sure do sound good. But, recheck and move on. Wow, the depth is pretty solid on this machine, too. Look, I dug down almost perfect and out rolled right off the top here. Right off the top, just like that. Battle kip. Battle kip. All right, another coin. Oh, it's the stinky zinky, I think. Yep, it's a zinky. But hey, it's working, man. The machine works. All right, I see roundness. A penny. Now it's just a new one. No, that's a 1950. 59, I assume. Yeah, 1959, guys. Nice. Remember I found a 59 the other day? I'm in the same exact spot. Cool. All right, guys, so I see another coin. Looks like a penny. Yep, just a barnacle. All right, guys, you see that? Let's see what it is. Oh, jeez. Oh my god! 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 I can't freak out. There's people around me. Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! Oh, give me a marking. Hold on. Oh god! Hold on, guys. Let me let me get my glove off. All right, guys, just like you'd suspect, I am shaking. Oh, geez, and dropping it. Oh, my God, I can't see a marking inside. It's just too dirty, but it sure looks real, doesn't it? Oh, holy shit. Oh, my God. Well, there you go, guys. What's that? Dig number 25? I think it might just be plated, but... Oh man, badass. Alright guys, I see something good here. It's a dime. Dime from... Doesn't look like silver. Yeah, it must be new. 81. Still, I don't care man, that ring is awesome. Alright. All right, guys, looks like just a copper, but we're not even just a zinky. Yep, just a zinky. Getting good on the target, so. All right, guys, I, this just flipped out. I haven't seen it, but it sure shined. What is this? Uh, I don't know. All right, just some kind of aluminum collar, man. If I'd have hit two silver rings or two cool rings and... That quick, that would be phenomenal. But hey, found out what this sounds like. Cool. Well, guys, I have to say this. That, you know, I thought it would be funny that that rang up as a penny. And there's a barnacle, like, right next to it. Like, this is the first hole. See, I pulled it, re-pulled it out. This was the second one. Man, this is awesome for this. It can really signal these little guys out right past a lot of crap. Nice. No idea what that thing is. It's kind of broken. It rang up as a 50 cent piece, but it was way, way more shallow than I suspected, so I'm going to double check. Alright guys, what's this thing? Oh, it's a folded over bottle bib. Alright guys, Shallow Canadian, 1968. Pretty cool. Uh, Alright everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm back from a pretty good hunt, I think. I, I dug a lot of targets. I didn't record all of them. There was a lot of baseball games started happening, and... Uh, some people at the basketball court, so I didn't want to look too wonky. Plus, they were pretty loud and uh, a little aggressive in their language, I'll say that. But, um, 
Yeah, man, let me show you what I found my first day with the Ace 350. Ready? All right, first see the pile of junk. Now, all, uh, one of the best reviews I, I saw on the Ace 350 said that, that it has a tendency to ring these bottle caps up as a, as a coin. And I definitely have to agree. Every one of them sounded like a perfect coin signal, at least so far of what I'm learning. Um, but, you know, hey, you're going to dig trash, so no complaints. I uh, got this cool little peace sign. Of course, it was sitting like this. I thought it was a metal detector. I was like, did I find another metal detector thing in my yard, in my, in my park? But, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, beaver tails and pull tabs, as usual. And this little thing came up as like a 50 cent or a dollar piece. Um, it, I think that's a magnet in there. But I didn't try it with anything really. I don't know. Oh yeah, look that, it's a magnet. Okay. Well, that might help. It might be a winder or something. I don't know. It was just, you know, it was neat to see a, a, a 50 cent signal, you know, or a dollar signal. So that was that was the first of that. A uh, little zipper guy. Uh, got some pennies here, of course. My oldest one. Actually, I think I did pretty good with the oldies. Um, 65, 66, 68. Canadian, and then a 1950 Weedy. Very happy with that guy. There it is, because that's only the third wheat penny I found this year. And uh, yeah, it, I was basically going over the same kind of track that I have been with my Ace 150. I was in the same area, believe it or not, as where I found all those uh, that last 200, some crazy, crazy dig amount. Yeah, this stuff still all came out of that little, one little spot, pretty much. Um, I did move a little bit, but no, primarily it was there, so pretty cool. There's my, uh, where's he at? My very first find with my new Ace 350. It's a 2,000 nickel, but hey, it came up as a nickel, and it was legitimately a nickel, so that's pretty cool. And then another nickel, a few dimes, uh, 1980, uh, what is that, 1989 quarter? But then the coup de gras, right? Everybody, I freaked out, didn't I? <laughs> Unfortunately, man, I think it was just silver plated. But I mean, come on, you guys saw it roll over. It's like, oh my god, man, what? But unfortunately, I see it's got a little corrosion there, a little pitting already starting. But man, that, that was just neat, neat to find and pull out of the ground. Just, just far out, and it's a monster, dude. I mean, that's my biggest finger, and look at that. <laughs> Might fit my thumb, but uh, I actually already had an offer from my neighbor. He's like, hey, how, how much can I give you for it? I was thinking of saying, hey, let me metal detect your backyard. You can have it. So <laughs> we'll find out how that works out. So thank you, everybody, for coming along with my first day on the Ace 350 adventure. I just had a, a fantastic time, super excited, super stoked. I'm sure you could tell by some of my reactions. Uh, the excitement level off the charts, man, but it's, hey, it's, it's awesome, and it's what I love to do, so and when you get a new tool to do what you love to do, of course you're going to get excited, and sure enough, I did, but uh, yeah, man, until next time, get out there and find something, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.